Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Valentine's Day inspired look uh, that I'm doing, that I did. I, di I did that, that's why that's why I'm filming this now. So yeah, I don't really have much to say with it other than Valentine's Day is in a week and it's my five year anniversary with my boyfriend, so I'm feeling the love. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're first going to start with the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and I'm taking the lightest pink shade on a Moda crease brush, and I'm just dusting that into the crease. I do find that this shade is pretty lightly pigmented, so you do have to go in quite a few times to build up the desired pigmentation. However, it does build on itself really well without getting patchy or picking up on itself. Then I'm going in with a brighter pink shade on a Luxie brush, and I'm this one is also like the other shade. It's a little lightly pigmented. So the way to work around this was packing it on with the brush and then blending it out. So I'm packing it onto the outer corner here and I'm blending it up into the crease. And I'm kind of blending this pretty high into the crease because we will be doing a cut crease and a wing with that. So I wanna make sure that this will show through all of the work we do later. Then I'm just going back in with a brush and just blending those two shades together. Then I'm going in with a bright pink again and this one is way more pigmented than the other two. And I'm doing the same as I did with the last two shades. I'm kind of packing this on the outer corner and bringing it into the crease and blowing it out pretty high. Again, kind of close to my brow bone just so we are able to see that bright pink color after we do everything else on the eye. Then I'm taking this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer on an Alomar Cosmetics brush and I'm just starting to carve out my crease. I'm doing one of those like full carved out eyeshadow looks where the whole crease is cut out into its own little wing. I don't know if I'm describing that correctly, but that's kind of what I'm doing and I'm horrible at doing these so it's taking me quite a bit of time and I do have to be really really close to the mirror so I'm pretty sure that I do get the mirror in front of the camera at some point but I'm just trying my best to be as precise as I can I'm taking my time because I know that this is not my strong point and just trying to make the best the best thing I can make and then I'm just packing on more of that concealer and yes here's the palette in my face I'm packing on more concealer to give it a fresh base and I'm working on the outer wing as well just to make sure that I'm covering all of that really really bright pink. Okay, then I'm going back in with the lightest pink shade and I'm packing that onto the concealer with my finger. I found that this is the way to pick up the most pigmentation from this product and I wanted a nice contrast between the bright pink and the cut crease area. So that's why I decided to use this. But for the smaller areas, I do go in with the Alamar brush and just clean up around the edges of that cut crease to make sure it still looks pretty seamless. Then I want it to be even a little bit lighter, so I'm going in with the, the glittery white shade from the palette and I'm just stamping that over top of the pink shade we just put down with that same Alamar brush. Then I'm taking the ColourPop Supernova Shadow in the shade Constellation and I am taking that on an Eco Tools, actually this is a lip brush, and I'm just tracing out where we made that cut crease so it becomes like a glittery cut crease. And I'm taking a little bit of the product at a time. This is kind of hard to work with because it is on like a concealer doe foot applicator. So you don't get the most amount of pigment off of it as you want. Luckily though, this builds really well on itself. So I just keep going back in and dragging the brush along the applicator to get the most amount of glitters and stuff that I need. And there it is. I did it. 
Okay, then I'm going in the lower lash line. I'm taking all three of those shades and just dusting them on the lower lash line. I am blowing this out a little bit toward the wing section because I want a stark contrast between the glittery wing area and the rest of the pink. So I'm trying to make it kind of uh, stand out by putting a lot more pink under there than I normally would. Then I'm taking the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Boots and I'm just sticking this into the waterline and this is almost an exact shade of the ones I used from the BH Cosmetics palette. It looks so good together. Then I'm taking the Grand Mascara and I am just putting two coats on my lashes here. I have been loving this mascara as you guys know. It just makes my lashes look so good and honestly I'm afraid to stop using it. Afraid that my lashes are going to go back to the way they used to look. And that's one with and without mascara. Then I'm going in with the face. I'm going to take this Laura Geller Baked Blush in the shade Tropic Hues. I'm taking that on a Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm just packing that onto my cheeks and a little bit onto my nose. Just to bring about the pink flare of it all. Then I'm taking this ColourPop super shock cheek in the shade pinch me it's this really cool iridescent flip that has a really strong pink duochrome flip thing when you turn the right way it's a the most beautiful pink highlight ever and it's super intense like all of the super shock cheeks it feels almost like a legitimate cream it is beautiful i put this on the inner corners of my eyes as well just to give a little bit more of a pink pop then i'm using the la girl lip liner and i'm just lining my lips with this And then I'm just taking this Too Faced Natural Nudes and I'm pressing this onto my lips because I feel like this shade in Strip Search is a little bit uh, too light for me. So if I pack it on like this, it just doesn't look so weird. Okay guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to and I'll see you in my next video.